Bray J here with you, LA on air, talking now with Ryan Piper. Uh, it's funny, we actually were classmates a few years back. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, Mr. Piper has an amazing revival coming up, and it's benefiting youth in our area, and I'm going to let him tell us more details about that. Uh, like, yeah, like you said, it's a uh, two night, you know, it's always called It's Over Revival, where the first night is uh, a night for youth. And the second night is pretty much the main night, which is February 7th. And that's February 8th. That's a Friday and a Saturday, starting at 7 p.m. nightly. Um, at fam- we're the whole family worship center uh, here in Lake Charles um, on East Prairie Lake Road. You know, got a lot of information on the flyer as far as, you know, you know the address and things like that. So, yeah, it's just something that a uh, vision that God gave me at first when I was at school at Alcorn State University in Mississippi. And then once my brothers got attached to it, they was like, let's go city to city. And I said, okay, let's do it. So, actually, this is our third city. Our first city was Alcorn State University, of course. Second city was Dorito, Louisiana. And our third city is here in Lake Charles. And then we're headed to different places like Lafayette, Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, Houston, um, Baton Rouge, you know, different places. We're going city to city, man, really just sparking up young people to bring a positive setting to the cities. So, are there particular musicians who are uh, showcased in here, or how do you... Explain for us what, what this looks like. All right. Well, the first night is usually a, almost like an iceberger type night. Um, we get we get involved with a lot of you know young people in the, in the area as far as churches and different groups. They come in and do mime, spoken word, poetry, um, sing, praise teams, um, rappers, of course, um, and just different. Try to have all different kind of creative art things happening at one time. One time we had actually had a girl paint both nights. She ended up painting a nice little picture. It'll be at the revival to show everybody the painting that she did, the first one. Um, you know, it's pretty much like an iceberger type night, man. Just a free atmosphere. Of course, uh, Braylon Harris, Pastor Braylon Harris of Mount Olive Baptist Church will be the speaker. Young guy, you know, God showed me to him. He's a pretty, pretty good man. So he's going to actually be our speaker the first night because I don't like to lead the kids without getting fed with the word. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep them in a positive setting of their life. And then, of course, it's, usually, it's the main night, which is it's over. Uh, really the big main night is usually when I come in at the end and I do illustration that God gives me and not really speaking as if like a regular pastor but I do it in an illustration type way so I get young people together and we have a God gives me a topic and I make it happen so well, we love that Ron Piper of course you can contact him for more information uh, you can contact Mr. Piper directly 337-853-1011 or you can email them at 3rproductionlc at gmail.com Again, this is on February 7th and 8th, a free event. It begins at 7 p.m., and the church is located at 3975 East Prion Lake Road here in Lake Charles, Word of Hope Family Worship Center. And uh, we're looking forward to this. I've been seeing you talk about it for a while now, and uh, really awesome that you you answered the call, as they say. I mean, you, in fact, not only are you doing this here in our community, which is your, you know, your home base, but you took it to your college town, and you, you're taking it to other areas. So we appreciate you and your dedication. Thank you so much. Anything else that you'd like to add? I mean, no, nah, man. We're looking forward for every young person around the area to come in and just have fun, man. Be free. No kind of certain religion, no kind of certain denomination. Just a free atmosphere. It's not really a Word of Hope event. It's just a Word of Hope venue. I want you to think of it like that. Not a Word of Hope event, but a Word of Hope venue. Place you got to have it. So, you know, so we just, you know, put down all your little feelings about certain churches and certain religions, man. We just want you to come and be free with young people. Older people are invited to also because I want the older people to also see what it, you know what the young people that are on fire and how much fun they're going to have just having fun just you know experiencing the presence of God man it's going to be awesome though man I can't wait all right there you have it Bridget here with you L A on air.